In FutureCam 2012, users now have the option to set a finishing leave allowance for turning operations. We can set a separate leave allowance for either the X or Z directions. This leave allowance allows the user to either leave on or remove extra material on the part. This means that they can undercut or overcut a part without the need to remodel it. This is essential when we're looking for situations such as fitting allowance. In this example we're also going to look at the use of part compare to highlight where those regions are. So I'm going to go into the part view. What we have is we have a guide pillar from a mold tool and all we want to do is simply machine these face regions here. But Since we're going to be turning we want to actually just take a bit of extra material on these regions down the x-axis to try and get a better fitting allowance. If I go through a simple 3D simulation, you'll notice we get a facing operation, we then get the rounding, and then we get the roughing and finishing. So that's the guide pillar so far. So to apply a negative leave allowance, I'm simply going to go into the process, into the properties, into the finish tab, and under turning you'll notice we have X leave allowance and Z leave allowance. So I can apply, in this case, a minus 0.1 of a millimetre, set and apply. This will maintain the position of the Z faces, but it will remove material in the X direction. Viewing from the top and looking at the toolpath, if I preview, you'll notice we get the initial roughing. and the finishing. Because of the small detail it's very very difficult to identify the position of the tool. So you can see the small amount of allowance. To visualize this better we're going to use the part compare. To do this, we make sure that the solid has been used as a part compare target. We run through full 3D simulation, and then we can verify using the view simulation show part compare. Here we can see we're within tolerance on the part compare target, so we're going to increase the tolerance under the simulation options. In this case, going to the part compare tab and entering our values. So we're going to go with 0 0.05 for each one of the target tolerance values. Again, rerun our 3D simulation, show the part compare, and we can now see where the negative leave allowance has been applied and where we still have material left on in these smaller grooves. You can also see where we've maintained the Z faces within tolerance.